What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, real quick, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has recently subscribed. I am past that 350 mark, so that is awesome. So thank you guys so much for, uh, for supporting me and uh, welcome if you are new here. I hope you enjoy. Um, anyways, uh, real quick, I got my box ready for the diecast day of giving and my good local buddy who I've mentioned plenty of times, Jimmy, uh, he reached out to me and he's like, you know what, man, I love the idea of the diecast day of giving. I have tons of castings that I can donate. I said, that's awesome, man. Uh, and he dropped them off and together guys, we are donating 50 cars now, um, which is awesome. Uh, way more than I thought I was going to be able to donate and uh, it's always awesome for like local people to come together and um, help the cause so uh, Yeah, I am still free short though right now um, But I am going to pick some up probably tomorrow on my way home. Um, I only need three more So I'm just gonna grab a couple of Walmart or Dollar General and then um, this entire box Will be filled which is awesome. So I'm really really excited to, um, to be doing this, like I said, first time um, giving you know to a charity or an organization, whatever you want to call it. But um, you know, I really hope that we can uh, we can reach that ten thousand mark, or maybe even surpass it, or at least do better than uh, last year. I think last year was over four thousand cars donated across uh, across the country. I think I don't know if it's worldwide, but I think it's just across the United States. Um, don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, so. Uh, you know, 50 is not a whole lot compared to like some of these other guys who are donating like hundreds and hundreds of cars, which is crazy. Um, but uh, you know, any little bit helps guys. Like I said, even if it's one car, that's still one car to make that one kid happy on Christmas. So think about that. Anyways, um, I got a really, really, really epic mail call here. And um, this is from the one and only 713 diecast. As you guys know, um, I had him custom airbrush my SEMA build MR2 and he sent it back to me, but he also made me my very own custom. And um, I have seen some pictures, but I have not seen any of it completed. So this will be my first time seeing this. And uh, I am I don't even know what I'm more excited about, to be honest, because both of what is in here, I am super stoked on. So uh, without any further ado, let's get this thing open. I forgot my knife, so I'm using an X-Acto knife tonight. But um, yeah, I am, I'm really pumped on this. Uh, I'm surprised I could even contain myself not to open it, but uh, this will be the first look at everything. Got it all nice and bubble wrapped here. Don't say, oh, I kind of see something. Oh, no, nope, never mind. False alarm. Let's see here. Excellent packaging, man. Oh, look at that. Is there anything else? Nope. Oh, wait, nope. Yes, there is. Okay, so first off, please go check him out. Um, he was just on Derek's live. And um, he's definitely getting us a, a small following on YouTube, posting his shorts and stuff like that. So please go check him out. Um, he does incredible work, guys. I mean, absolutely incredible work. I mean, some of the best I've ever seen for sure. So uh, it was awesome of him to, uh, to help me out like this. So please go check him out. And uh, let's take a look real quick at the smaller stuff. I had him paint two sets of wheels for me. Um, one set is for my Oh, where'd he go? Oh, uh, I'll find it later. Sorry, dropped, dropped the wheel, the drag wheel. But uh, yeah, I had him do these wheels for me. Um, these are for my Diecast Misfits October build, which I will be posting as well. Super tiny, probably not gonna show up the best, but uh, these are just, this is like a slick wheel, and then this is a big fat drag wheel. Um, that's all I'm saying though, for my build. But uh, I just had him paint those gloss black. And then these wheels, I had him do like a silver finish, like a silver, like aluminum kind of finish on them. And again, probably not going to show up the best, but uh, they're like these multi-spoke wheels I picked out for the MR2. 
So those are going to look really nice. Sorry that the camera, I will get way better shots and stuff whenever it's all put together and whatnot for my big reveal. But, um, yeah, so I had them paint two sets of wheels for me. So that was awesome. So, ooh, what should we open first here? Well, I'm sure you guys probably know what that is. And then this is the custom. So, ah, man, I don't know. Let's do the, let's do my, my build first. I'm really pumped to see this. Get this thing out of here. Really well done on the packaging, man. Definitely know what you're doing. I would hope so though, because uh, these things are like works of art that he makes, so. Oh man. This thing looks incredible and it's not even out of the bag yet. Super, super careful. Oh, come on. Stuck a little bit, there we go. Wow. Dude, you killed it on the color on this thing. This is literally exactly what I had in mind. When I was saying how I wanted it like a dark aqua, like teal color, I just think that that's like, I don't know, it's just such a different color for an MR2. Man, you killed it on this thing. This thing is flawless. It is like glass too. Wow. Way better job than I could do, guys. I'll tell you that. I mean, I know you guys say that my customs are good, but look at that thing. That is like straight, just it looks wet. I mean, that's there's no other way to put it. But that is exactly what I had in mind. Oh man, how it hits in the light, how it changes to like a real dark and then it gets real light. Bro, you killed it. Absolutely killed it. Um, I should have went ahead and had him detail this too. I wasn't really thinking before he uh, sprayed some some clear on it, but I am gonna go ahead and give it some very minute details on it and uh, maybe something else, I'm not sure yet. But um, regardless though, man, you absolutely killed it with this thing. I am stoked on how this turned out. That color is, is fire for sure. I mean, oh man, I cannot wait to put this thing together. Yeah, so it did some other mods to like the chassis and stuff too. So uh, it's 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 crunch time now, guys. This is probably what all my efforts gonna be focused on for sure. After I get my October build done, that is. So putting this back in the bag, so nothing happens to it. That turned out phenomenal, though, man. Thank you again. Try to do this one, and then we will get on to the showcase. This custom, though, I am. This is getting, I mean, that might, it might even, not even compare to that. And that turned out freaking awesome. Man, got a really good job taping this thing. There we go. Other side done here. Bear with me, guys. There we go. Oh, man. Dude. <laughs> oh man. This thing is. Wow. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> what am I even holding right? Oh my god, the pain. Wow. Dude. I'm about speechless with this thing. That, wow, dude, this thing looks incredible. I know I'm really teasing you guys right now, but oh my God. Whew. That is just, dude, the, the paint is insane. You, you knocked it out. Oh my God, dude, you killed it with this thing. All right, guys, so he, uh, he asked me, um, since he was painting that, if, uh, if I wanted him to do a custom, and I said, absolutely. Um, and obviously I wasn't going to have him do it for free by any means because I know his work, I've seen it, and it's it's worth every penny of what he charges for it. Um, but uh, yeah, this this thing, it, it turned out phenomenal. So he asked me what my favorite casting was and I told him it was, or a favorite car. I said, Nissan R34, as much of a fanboy as that makes me sound, um, I just absolutely love those cars. And um, I sent him a picture of one that I've always loved. Um, 
it's probably definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite um, Skyline, and I will put a picture of it as well so you guys can see it in person. But um, it is the Nissan Skyline R34, um, and it's done by Signal Auto, um, which is in Japan. And um, it's a very famous car over there. So I had him make me a replica, and this thing turned out phenomenal. Look at that, guys. Again, the camera's probably gonna butcher it, but the paint is insane because, like I said, I'll, I'll put some pictures up here so you guys can see them, but it is like a color shift paint that is on the real car. And um, he was worried about, or I was worried about him not being able to find these decals, but he somehow got them made. I have no idea who made them, um, but they turned out absolutely perfect. I mean, it has every single, um, you know, sponsor and, oh, excuse me, everything on there. And that, oh my God, the paint, the color shift paint looks insane. I even, I mean, the wheels, everything. I mean, it, it looks perfect. Dude, you absolutely killed it with this thing. This is, oh my God, dude. I'm definitely going to get a display case for this thing. Cause <clears throat> I'm probably never going to touch it again. I'm probably just going to look at it for forever. I mean, just even the small details of like the badge and like the license plate, the Japanese license plate. Um, oh, man, I love it. Absolutely love it. That paint is just fantastic. The way it just color changes in the light to like the purple and then the blue. Oh man, thank you, man. I I really appreciate it. You killed it. Absolutely killed it. So if you guys are looking for an insane custom, please go hit up 713 diecast because this dude is killing it out here for sure. This is what I hope to be someday for sure. But uh, yeah, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. That just, it looks awesome. I am so stoked on that. Probably even more stoked than even how, how this came out and this came out phenomenal. So, all right, enough of me, um, you know, just being in awe over that stuff, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, um, enjoy seeing it. Um, I will not be showing this again until I unveil it all together and whatnot. So um, other than that, uh, I'm going to try to get through the showcase very quickly to keep this video from dragging out. Um, even though you guys are probably used to it by now. Um, this is my last Fast and the Furious showcase. Um, it is Motor City Muscle. So, um, oh, also um, I am going to throw in an overview of the custom Camaro I did for Jesse's Sidecast Garage. Um, so that will be after this and then the showcase and I will let you guys, uh, let you guys go. Stay tuned. All right guys, so like I previously mentioned, I made this custom 1970 Chevy Camaro for Jesse's Diecast Garage. Um, this originally started out as the blue one from the Ultra Hot series. Um, so I just stripped it down um, and it was al already obviously polished or chrome or whatever you want to call it um, from the factory. So all I did was spray this nice um, green emerald paint on it. And yes, this is the same paint from the giveaway gasser. Um, he said that he was really just digging like a nice emerald green um at the time and i was like well that works out good because i already had it so um yeah i think the paint turned out really good um really not any flaws nothing i had to touch up or anything like that so came out pretty good um and then i just did kind of some subtle details to it as well um i did the front and rear window trim in silver uh, i did the rear tail lights there and then the reverse lights um i did the door handles um silver and then i did the front headlights um, and the grill in black and then um, I just uh, this had the red interior in it so I sprayed that all black and then um, I didn't really do any um, interior detailing uh, just because I really didn't know what direction I wanted to go with it um, if that makes sense um, maybe like some white inserts would maybe look cool on there but um, it's already together so um, other than that we will take a look at the bottom of this. Um, I did spray the base black, um, gloss black, and then I clear coated it. And then um, I did the oil pan in red, and then I did the transmission 
drive, sa drive shaft, uh, excuse me, um, and the exhaust all in, uh, in chrome. And then um, I also added these exhaust tips. And those look really cool on there, kind of. I mean, it had like the exhaust coming all the way out, but um, I mean, and I had it painted, but uh, and I don't just had the exhaust tips. I had kind of a, just another, you know, kind of touch to it, just to make it look that much more realistic. So, um, yeah, I mean, and then uh, of course my uh, my channel logo there, so you know it's uh, from yours truly. But um, yeah, other than that, that is all there is to it. Uh, definitely really happy with how this one came out. It's just super clean simple build um and uh you know i really uh i really hope that he enjoys it and um because this video will probably be out after um he would have already received it so uh yeah um hope you like it man and uh yeah let me know what you guys think about it um i do have another custom i am very close on completing as well or it may already be completed by the time you guys see this um, but uh, I'm really stoked on that one as well. And that one's going to a really um, cool guy in the community as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, enjoy the showcase. All right, guys. So like I said, this will be my last Fast and the Furious um, set. And this one is Motor City Muscle. Um, this set came out in 2020. Um, this is a really cool set. Uh, really happy to have the full set in my collection um, And I figured it was fitting to throw in Jesse's um, Camaro as well because uh, it would definitely go really good with this set So anyways to start out we have the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning This was driven by Paul Walker in the first movie This was the shop truck for the Racers Edge, which is the shop that he worked for in um, Los Angeles um I will be honest with you guys, this is not my favorite version of this truck. Um, I should have actually gotten the last version that came out in the last Fast and the Furious set um, that came out most recently, um, but I was actually just dragging all those lightnings for the wheels that came on them. But um, it's it's not a bad version. Um, I just like the wheels are a little bit too small, I think, um, in my opinion. But other than that, the rest of the truck looks fantastic um, in the stock classic red color which I believe this is the only color that this truck came in um, I could be wrong but I'm almost positive that it only came in red so um, yeah chrome uh, five spoke wheels front and back are done um, with the tampos and then the racer edge um, deco on the side and clear glass on this one and then we have a 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport, and this thing is wicked looking. Um, I love the dark green metallic paint on it. Um, definitely reminds me a lot of the Camaro I did. Um, but this one was driven by Phoenix in the fourth movie. Um, he was one of the bad guys. Um, nice white stripe going down the side of it, which I really don't mind. I think it looks really cool when it kind of gives it like the paint like a break in between it. Um, nice um, offset uh, chrome multi-spoke wheels. Uh, clear glass, chrome interior. Um, this one's really nice because it's got like the windshield trim done up and the silver and stuff like that. Um, chrome base, and um, I do like the stance it has too, how it sits, it's got like a nice rake to it as well. And uh, I've always had a soft spot for these cars too. I think all like the Grand Torinos and stuff like that look really, really cool. Um, definitely like an older muscle car would not mind driving. So that one is just super, super clean. And then, I'm sure we have everybody's <laughs> favorite here, the 1987 Buick Grand National GNX, driven by Dominic Toretto in the fourth movie. This was in the beginning when he was hijacking the oil tanks, tankers. Oh, um, actually, I should probably talk about the card art. Sorry, guys. Um, the card art's pretty cool um, because I think that it takes every car from, like, the movies and they kind of like reenact the scene. So like, as you can see, this is like the oil tanker exploding. And um, real quick, sorry guys, I should have touched upon this real quick. We'll go back. Um, the Torino, this was in the desert um, whenever he was coming out of the tunnel. And um, so that's that's really cool. Oh, 
And then this first one is whenever he got pulled over by the cop. So uh, I'm assuming that's probably like a little Easter egg type deal. Um, again, I don't know. I'm not being the first to claim that I found this, but um, that's just kind of what I get off of the card art of it. So you guys can let me know. Um, but anyways, back to the Grand National here. Um, of course, done in the iconic black. Um, the wheels look all right. Probably would have done like a different style wheel. These are like the multi holes, like slotted wheels. Um, they don't look too bad, but I'm not a fan of like the bead lock that goes around them. Uh, front and rear decals are done up very nicely. This has um, kind of like, almost like very darkly tinted smoke glass, black interior, so it's black on black on black. Um, and yeah, I mean, you don't need anything else on this car. This car does not need a decal, it does not need Racing stripes, none of that. I mean, this is exactly how this car was made and it's exactly how it should look. And I would love to own one of these cars in real life. I love anything G-body for sure. And then we have a 66 Chevy Nova. Another huge fan of this um, generation uh, Nova. But um, sorry, getting a little off track there. Anyways, um, this one is done in like a nice dark gold metallic, which looks phenomenal on it. Nice uh, deep dish chrome five spoke wheels, uh, chrome front bumpers or front bumper, rear bumper, chrome base, uh, kind of lightly tinted smoke glass, black interior, um, just super, super clean. And uh, I love like the deep, like the wide, wheels in the back of it just give it this such a nice stance um and i would love to get my hands on another one of these to customize because i have a really cool idea for it um and this of course got the uh the chevy or the nova badge on the side there and uh front and rear done up very nicely very subtle but just very very nicely done and um it's not it's, it's gonna be hard to pick pick a favorite out of this one and then um here is it like kind of uh looks like the, i guess the charger Dom's Chargers in the back, because I believe Dom drove this one. I forget in what movie exactly, but I'm pretty sure this was his car as well. So it's just like the city in the background. And then another one driven by Dom, I believe. This is the 61 Impala. Another, of course, classic muscle car here. Um, more or less probably a lowrider than an actual muscle car, but either or, I mean, however, However you want to look at it, however you want to set it up, it could do both. It could go fast or it could just look cool and uh, drag its butt on the ground. So uh, again, chrome five-spoke wheels, uh, nice gloss red uh, windshield and side windows are done up very, very nicely in a silver, nice white stripe to break it up. Um, I like how it wraps into the rear there as well. Uh, rear lights are done up very nicely, headlights are done up. Nice Chevy badge, Chevrolet across the hood there. Chrome base as well with the front and rear bumper. Uh, lightly tinted, or no, I'm sorry, clear glass. And then um, black interior. So that is definitely an Impala I would drive with the black interior and the red paint. I mean, that's just the classic, classic uh, combo. And this one again has a nice little uh, break to it as well. Slightly lowered in the front, so. There you have it. Like I said, guys, sorry it was a little bit faster, but this one I try to keep this video not super, super long here. So let me know which one is your favorite. This is going to be a tough one without a doubt for me because all of these things just look so freaking good. How do we got to do this here? There we go. I apologize guys, I accidentally stopped the video. But, um, I don't know. To be honest, I think I'm gonna go with the Nova. I just love how this thing looks. It's just super, super clean. Very nice stance to it, love the color. Um, love the wheels on it. That's probably gonna be my choice, but a very, very close second would be the GNX, without a doubt. And then probably the Torino. Impala Lightning. So that is my pick. Let me know which one is your favorite or if they're all your favorite. If you're a, uh, I know there's a lot of diehard uh, muscle car guys on here. So 
I'm sure any one of these would be right up your alley. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for all of your support, your likes, your comments. Um, if you recently subscribed, again, thank you very much. Um, and please get out there and donate, make a change, make a positive change in some little kid's life. And um, we will see you in the next and final showcase. Peace out, guys.